How many civilians in Rafa, of the one and a half million people there, is Israel prepared to view as collateral damage to eliminate the remaining Hamas terrorists? Piers, as you know, the IDF does our absolute utmost to avoid civilian casualties. Um, just in the first day of the operation, we've taken 100,000 um, ci um, citizens, uh, civilians from Rafa, out of Rafa. Well, that leaves 1.4 million. OK, and it's a, it's a work in progress. So uh, I well, can my tell question, you, that you know, my question is that you're, you're trying to eliminate Hamas completely, but in the process, already you've pretty much destroyed most of northern Gaza. You've already killed up to 40,000 people, depending on whether you accept the, uh, the Hamas-run uh, health authority numbers. Obviously, a number of those people uh, are Hamas, and a large number are innocent civilians, women and children. And if you go into someone like Rafa, which has a million and a half people who've been told to go there by Israel, who've been displaced from their homes, which have been destroyed in the main, and gone to this refugee camp, how many could die before Israel says, we can't continue this operation? Piers, we're fighting against Hamas, a genocidal terror organisation. I've seen your coverage, your tremendous coverage of what Hamas did to us on October 7th. You and I know they want to do it again and again and again. That's their words, not mine. Now, we'll do what we have to do to go after Hamas to avoid civilian casualties, something that we have successfully done. Out of that Hamas number that you just gave, more than 14,000 are terrorists that we took out. There's more than 25,000 Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists how taken many, off So the how back. many civilians do you believe you've killed? We, we don't have exact figures, as you know, it's the fog of war. But you've got exact numbers for Hamas terrorists media. you've killed. Why wouldn't you know how many civilians you've killed? Because obviously our focus is to go after the Hamas terrorists and... Uh, no, we hang will on, do I mean, that does imply that you, you're yeah. putting a bigger premium on killing Hamas terrorists in terms of numbers and accountability than you are on innocent civilians. That can't be right, surely. If you know exactly how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, you must know how many civilians you've killed. Otherwise, you're prioritising the lives of terrorists over innocent people. Piers, with respect, don't put words into my mouth, please. I didn't say exactly 14,000. I said around 14,000. Whereas Hamas will come out with precise uh, numbers that statisticians well, give me will a look at. ballpark number for civilians. Well, well, you can you can use the ballpark uh, as far as uh, the Hamas figures, which I reject as being false. Well, if they're so, false, why would uh, you give me those? I had I gave you the the numbers that I had. No, you told me and you I've, know you know how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, but you don't seem to have any idea how many civilians you've killed. I'm just bemused. Why wouldn't you keep count of both? I don't have that information to give you, uh, Piers. If I did, I well, would. You've literally no idea how many civilians you've been killing. I can tell you definitively that our aim is to go after Hamas. No, We've done on. it you, I, I, I'm sorry to push you on this. That's quite extraordinary. You're an official spokesman for the Israeli government and you have no idea how many civilians you've killed. I thought you just told me that you were particularly careful about not killing civilians. But if you don't know how many you've killed, how can you say that with any certainty? Because even if you were to go by a ratio of the Hamas figures, we would still be far ahead of any That wasn't Western my army. question. You know it wasn't my question. I, I, don't, I don't have the information. Well, you literally have no to... idea how many civilians you've killed. It's not that I don't know. I'm not authorised to give the information. I don't have the information. That's complete you. nonsense. Why are you authorised to give me the number of terrorists you've killed but not the number of civilians? I don't understand. Can you explain? Piers, we will go after Hamas. We will ensure that we... Um, you want me to believe to... you're being incredibly <laughs> careful about how many civilians you're killing and you have an amazing exemplary record, but you don't know how many civilians you're killing. So how do I know you've been careful? Piers, when the dust settles, we will come out with the proper numbers. Hamas runs to the press daily but you, with hey, false... When the dust settles, a lot of people will have died and you know how many Hamas you've killed, but you don't know how many civilians you've killed. And I'm just asking you why. Why is it you've kept a record of one, but not the other? I, I personally don't have that information to give to you. You can ask me over and over. I'm not going to come up with more information. I don't so you, personally you don't have know? That. I don't have that information for you. Well, you're an official government spokesman for the Israeli government, and you have no idea. Piers... I, I came on here to focus on what's going on with the well, war. Well, actually, you came on here to answer my questions, uh, I think. Yeah, and, and I, I don't have an answer for you to that. And so. I didn't intend to press you on this point because I assumed that you would not respond the way you have. 
But I've never had yeah. an Israeli spokesman who simply said, I, I have no idea. Particularly after you boasted about no. the fact that you've been very smart in the way you've avoided killing civilians. How do you know if you've got no idea how many you've killed? Because I know the way in which the IDF operates. I know um, the way in which we go after the terrorists in the best possible way. It's not what I've said. It's what General Petraeus has said. It's what um, John Spencer from uh, West Point has said. Mm. It's it, 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 it's what uh, multiple uh, British generals have said. Israel goes out of its way to avoid civilian casualties. That's what we'll do. If you can point to me to another um, conflict by which they have um, evacuated, got out of harm's way civilians to the extent that Israel has done, then fine. If you you want put, to sorry, with respect, Mr. Diamond, how can you possibly... I expect me to accept any comparisons to any other conflict or war, given that you do not know how many civilians you've killed. Piers, you understand that uh, I can't uh, prosecute the war over the over the media. I'm I just asking you for basic I'm not, I'm basic not information. I'm just I'm so, honestly, I'm just I did, I'm not trying to trap you, and I'm not trying to unfairly harangue you. I think people are watching this and they'll make their own conclusions. I just find it astonishing that the moment I asked you how many Hamas you killed, you could tell me immediately. And the moment I ask you about civilians, you haven't got a clue, literally. That you're not even prepared to issue a ballpark number. And I, I think people will find that staggering, particularly given that you are insistent that you're doing everything you can to avoid killing civilians. To which, again, I just simply ask, how do you know? If you don't know how many you're killing, how can you possibly be sure that you are, A, doing better than other, other people waging war elsewhere, or B, that you have any idea how many you're killing? You, you don't, clearly. The IDF monitors every single um, action that it takes. It weighs out the options. It doesn't of, tell of you, the official spokesman. And it, avoids, and it avoids civilian casualties in the best possible way. How do you like know, said, Mr. Hyman? Even, even if you were to take, uh, please, even no, if you were allowed... Please, you, sorry, with respect, you come on here as the official Israeli government spokesman and, and you, you don't want to be asked how many you've killed because you don't know and yet you want us to draw comparisons to other conflicts in a positive no. way for Israel. And you want to tell me that IDF make a, a, a record of every single thing they're involved in, but they don't give it to you, the government spokesman, so that when I ask you, you have no idea. Do you understand how ridiculous that sounds? With respect. With all due respect, I've told you that even if you were to use the Hamas figures, the ratio would still be better than any other army, and that's where the comparison can be done. However, we know above and beyond that that the Hamas figures are not accurate. And we know from former uh, conflicts that Hamas throws in uh, anyone that's, you know, someone could have passed away from uh, a heart attack, someone could have... Uh, so why is you know, it that Israel of, actually, in, after in, previous... That's what after, they've done in the past. Well, why is it after previous death tolls have been released by Hamas through the Palestinian Health Authority, uh, they've actually turned out to be ones that Israel has concurred with in the main? Do, can you not count either? Piers, we're in the fog of war. We're fighting for our very existence. No, you're not foggy when it comes to killing terrorists. You're only foggy, it seems to me, when it comes to killing civilians. We're, we're fighting as a terrorist organisation that spent the last 16 years embedding itself underneath and within a civilian population. They're fighting from mosques, from hospitals, from UN facilities. I, I don't know if there's a comparison of any war in modern history um, in which a terrorist organisation has embedded its way itself the way that Hamas has in Gaza. We are doing our very utmost to go after Hamas. And like I said, when the dust settles, you will see that. OK. Uh, Avi Harman, the Israeli government spokesman, thank you very much.